to talk about that happened that really just <laughs> it, it didn't make me happy okay uh, first things first is <clears throat> I truly did intend on shooting uh, videos or more or less doing black screen videos while I was out there so you know I have Time Warner Cable and they have uh, you know their whole Time Warner Cable TV app and because of where I'm at, there's like a whole lot of time on the hotspots this and third. So for what it's worth, I can still watch, if not all, quite a bit of the channels that I pay for. And in terms of when I say I pay for some damn channels and shit. So I'm just like, all right, this should be good. So going out there, I'm just like, all right, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to tune in, I'm going to do this and shit. So the first uh, show that I'm trying to watch <clears throat> is uh I'm trying to remember the order in which all the ish went down. I had already did whatever it was it would have been uh Hollywood Divas, despite the fact y'all saw how I felt about that <clears throat> when I got back into the video. <clears throat> but um trying to pull up the uh app on my phone and it's pretty much saying because I'm working on cellular data and at the same exact time I'm not next to or not where my uh Wi-Fi and everything is the amount of channels that <clears throat> I can watch are very limited and damn it it was limited to pretty much Time Warner motherfucking news trust me when I say <clears throat> I was mad but I wasn't like truly fucking pissed because it's not like I'm paying extra for that that was an add-on but you would think that's something that they would tell you that hey FYI this is what the fuck this is so I'm just sitting back like Man, I'm finna miss all this shit. Woo wop the woo. I was gonna miss Empire. Luckily for me, we left a little bit early, so I was actually able to catch Empire in real fucking time. <clears throat> Straight up pissed me the fuck off. I had to pretty much reestablish my Hulu account because, like I said, I'm gonna be gone um, later on this month. Uh, like I said, probably gonna be gone um, in a <clears throat> couple more months, you know, for days, weeks at a time. So I'm like, okay, well, I need something. And we know the real households are coming back. Cannot wait for that. Weirdly enough, it's going to come out when I am gone again. And guess what? Hulu only has up until season six. So those reviews are going to be delayed. Unfucking fortunately. Not going to be happy about that. So that anger and aggression is probably going to manifest itself on the fucking review but i was very very upset with and here's the on some real shit i don't really fucking like time warner cable to be completely fucking honest shit back when i was in alabama that is all that i was able to get you know by virtue of where i was i don't fucking like time warner you know i would have preferred uh xfinity and even at&t has that partnership with dish which would be fucking perfect because i have at&t that would work fucking perfectly, but <clears throat> again, motherfucking Time Warner Cable. So, do any of y'all have Time Warner Cable? If so, let me know how the fuck y'all feel about it. But the one thing that pissed me off <laughs> while we were out in the fucking woods were the fucking mosquitoes. Now, <clears throat> let me say this again. Y'all know I'm from Chicago, you know, so I run some motherfucking city and shit. Uh, I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna give you like a backstory almost and then bring you to the present so uh <clears throat> back when i uh came home for a vacation when i was in korea i uh, stopped in a uh, pool of georgia hung out with my boy <clears throat> he was like hey we finna go uh hunting i'm looking at him like uh yeah see i'm a fucking city boy we don't do that shit you know if we want food and he, granted i mean he you know he know but i'm just like bro i just go to the motherfucking market get my shit and that's it but he wanted to go hunt this and third so we're out there had plenty of fucking bug spray now the fucking mosquitoes in pooler georgia are fucking gangster and shit something in my soul and my spirit said you know what i real put on a motherfucking uh tank top tuck that bitch in and then wear your shirt no i didn't do that i just wore a regular shirt so because i had you know d and everything on my legs on my arms neck and shit they ain't touched there and we had done some drinking too so you know you're intoxicated you're not always going to feel everything let's just say these motherfuckers smooth went up the back of my shirt and told my back smooth the fuck up it wasn't until we finally got back to the crazy of course i'm not drunk anymore and i'm like what the fuck 
took a shower and everything, got back out, I slid my hand up my back when I tell you they ate my ass smooth the fuck up. I <clears throat> was not happy about that. And then in preparation to get ready to go to, you know, where I just went, you know, I was so fixed on my shit had just gotten here that Friday, so I'm trying to unpack stuff, pack everything up that I know I'm going to need. And of course, I forgot to pack DEET. But I had some off active in my car. Now, we're going into fucking deep woods. That wasn't gonna cut it, but it was better than nothing. <clears throat> Let me tell you, these motherfucking mosquitoes, like, if it was like, imagine like flat, you know, grass. Like, if it's about that much, you're really not gonna see a lot of them. But as the grass is taller, like they're sitting in it, you go into that grass, when I say they, whew, Fly the fuck up like fucking, uh, you know, bees in it. My, my gosh, and they were not fucking playing. And again, I, I don't live in places that are very highly populated with mosquitoes. And where we were, it was very swampy, and there were big beds of water. There were sitting water the whole night, so they were, fu they were bad. And I've learned that in between sunset and sundown and sun, you know, in between, you know, sunrise and sunset like that. Yeah, they're fucking horrible. Like, even if you walk, let's just say, <clears throat> five feet to go to the Port of Johns, like, if we was in shorts and short sleeve shirts, oh, yeah, they, they, they got your way about a good 15 times just walking into the motherfucker, and then some of them were in the damn Port of My, I swear I fucking hated it. Could not fucking stand it. And the way our tents were, you know, Everything wasn't, you know, the best way. So you got the skeeters in there. So you know they fucking biting you while you trying to while you sleeping and shit. Like it was fucking horrible. And the worst fucking part, okay, is fucking mosquitoes. They don't fucking understand, okay, proper fucking etiquette. See, I was, you know, sitting there doing my job and shit. Unbeknownst to me, one came and motherfucking kissed me on my motherfucking lip. I didn't know that. And here's the thing, that shit wasn't warranted. They didn't ask me for a motherfucking kiss. They didn't say, hey, I like your lips, can I suck on them? No, I mean, I got nice two coolers, you know, everything. Like I said, they not huge, but the motherfucking got me on a motherfucking angle to where you saw a lip on my motherfucking lip and shit. And everybody saw it. And I was like, what the fuck? They was right there. Like, what the fuck? Like, this, like a motherfucking mosquito that motherfucking kissed me my damn mouth. Motherfucking bitch that gave me motherfucking herpes. I was not here for this shit. I was motherfucking mad. I'm like, are you fucking. Y'all, I was mad. Sitting here like, I'm, I'm, I'm like, I mean, hell, that's borderline motherfucking rape. That was unwanted fucking penetration. Okay, that was sex. No, that wasn't rape. That was sexual assault. You don't do no shit like that. Motherfucking animal king need to learn some motherfucking rights and some motherfucking respect and shit. But that's pretty much all that. I mean, there's more stuff that happened while I was out there, but those were the two big things that really, really grounded my fucking gears, you know, especially having, you know, a fucking mosquito sexually assault me, you know, all up in my mouth area and shit. That shit wasn't cool. Not cool at all. But it is what it is. That is all that happened. And um, before I go, I want to talk about one thing. For those of you who are in anything service related, customer service related, something like that. Twice in a two week span. Actually, no, within a one fucking week span, <clears throat> had to go pick up some documents. Sign my name on the side of the sheet and I'm just sitting there. <clears throat> By a good 20 fucking minutes. Motherfuckers that work in this particular office fucking see a motherfucker and pretty much look at me. I make eye contact with them and act like I'm not fucking there. Various motherfucking people and I'm just like, I'm pretty sure y'all are busy, but y'all see that somebody is fucking waiting. You know what I'm saying? And part of me want to say him pop smooth the fuck off, but I didn't do that. I remain calm. I walked to them just like, hey, you know, I'm here for this. And they gave me an answer that motherfucking quick where I could have been in and out, but y'all got a motherfucking wait. And then, you know, just recently, you know, like I said, it's, it's, it's official, y'all. Your boy got high blood pressure. I know. I know. It's fucking sad. But I was going in to do a three-day blood pressure check and shit. <clears throat> so on day two, you know... Young lady told me, you know, sit down, you know, take your top off, you know, and, you know, someone will be with you. 
And I'm just sitting there, sitting there. You got motherfuckers coming in and out, in and out, literally just staring at me, see me sitting there, see me sitting right next to the motherfucking machine. Don't nobody want to say shit. Don't nobody want to do shit. I'm literally fucking sitting there trying to remain calm. Cause I'm trying not to fucking pop the fuck off. And y'all got me here for high motherfucking blood pressure. But, you know, y'all do not realize that having me sit here for no motherfucking reason about this motherfucking machine is raising my motherfucking blood pressure on your ass.